Do you think it's okay for your parents to weigh their children? Yeah. Well, maybe sometimes. But how about daily weigh-ins for your six-year-old no. daughter? No. Well, we found one mother does just that, and now she's facing a world of criticism. Woo. You know, I, this mom, apparently, she weighs herself. She weighs everybody in her house every day. I mean, it's excessive, and I think it's one of those things. She's probably a loving mother, but when you know better, you do better. And yeah. so I think this is something with mom, and she thinks she's doing the right thing <laughs> yep. because her daughter is being teased or bullied at school because of her weight. So she's saying, I'm going to weigh you every day so we can watch your weight, and they're not going to bully you. But in my opinion, it's kind of like bullying her at home, too, you oh, know, because it's 100%. not making her feel good about herself, right? Oh. Oh, yeah, I mean, the, the lack of self-worth. I mean, can you imagine what that daughter is, is thinking even at six years old and at when she six. gets older, right? You know, I, I always see this in, in families and anxiety disorders and even eating disorders, they're contagious, mm -hmm. right? So we look at research and we see that when a parent has an eating disorder or an anxiety disorder, this is, this is the mom's issue. This is not the, the child issue, right? So the mom has this untreated anxiety disorder and she's actually giving it to this child, right? So, so we know that in research, if you're an adult, it is healthy to weigh yourself about once a week. If you start obsessively weighing yourself every single day, that is actually a red flag. And if you're doing that to your children, that, is, that can be really unhealthy well, and even dangerous. I think you're so right on, Mike, that this, this mom, and I think she's trying to do her best. She, yes. she may mean well, but she has her own inner yeah. issues, and she's transferring yeah. that onto her kids. But yeah. I, I guess she doesn't realize the long-term consequences of that in terms of developing as a woman and self-identity, self-image. I mean, this is a slippery slope. And, and, yeah, and a couple of things. Like, first of all, if you really are trying to lose weight, then you shouldn't even weigh yourself every day. And you also understand that it's part of a, a bigger picture. It's not all about what's on the scale. It's okay to weigh yourself periodically, like mm -hmm. you said, but nobody, whether you're 6 or 60, should be weighing themselves every day. But also, how do you think the child will evolve from this like I feel as though when the child grows up she may resent the scale altogether and say I'm never stepping on another scale I'm gonna eat everything I want or she may adopt that and say well mommy said I need to weigh a certain amount so that I'm beautiful or to make people accept me and so she may also obsess over it. like how do you think this can affect the child's development I think it I think it's uh, affecting it in, a, in a, an extremely negative way I think it is putting that child at a very high risk for developing an eating disorder for anorexia, for very low self-worth, for depression, for anxiety. We know that, that anorexia is the most lethal diagnosis across all of mental health. It right? will kill you. It will kill you. So, you know, to say, oh, but I want my child to be healthy, you may be setting yourself, your child up for, for death.